Good morning, this is Sheila Z and Tom Birkenmeyer and this morning we're going to show you what exactly do you do with all of that fiber and that pulp that we get if we're actually juicing something, not blending, but juicing. Well, here's a really great recipe and a great way to make it into something just yummy and still have all that fiber. Let's go over here. Now this morning I've chosen to use coconut oil rather than butter to saute an onion. That's just a chopped up onion, that's it. And we're going to saute this onion in coconut because I've already decided that some of the seasonings, I'm going to make a curry soup out of this because in our juice this morning we had organic celery, organic carrot, yes, organic apple, and a little bit of orange juice. And those flavors blend just wonderfully with uh, curry. So rather than using an organic butter, I simply chose to use a 100% coconut, virgin coconut oil to saute the onions in. So I'm gonna allow this to saute up for a little bit. I love juicing and I don't always know what to do with the pulp, so I'm really looking forward to, I've never seen this before, so this is like live, first time for me as well as, as it is for you. So now that our onions are nice and uh, juicy, I'm simply going to add the pulp directly from my juicer. There goes the carrots and all the celery fibers and the, even the apple. Even more. Okay. Just give that a stir. We just sort of let that blend in with the lovely flavor of the onion. If you like garlic, this is the place where you would probably want to put some garlic in. Don't worry about these strings and stuff that are hanging off because it all makes sense in the end. Now we add the meat. The magic ingredient, of course, in any soup stock is water. Let's see how much flame I've got. I'm add a good bit of water. Oh, maybe even a little more. How's that? Ooh, ooh, yummy. I already smell the blending. Now, I don't always put cumin in. I usually use spike, which is uh, ground up herbs of all different kinds and a little bit of uh, crystal salt. We only use uh, sea salt here. Now, when I was in St. Martin, I picked up some wonderful spices. This is turmeric, curry. Let me get a spoon out of here, excuse me. And I'm gonna put pretty generous, this will give it a little bite also. I'm gonna give it a pretty generous spoonful of this curry. Yummy. Now, you may not have this spice. It's kind of a Jamaican spice that they call Colombo. But all, you can put cumin in, different kinds of spices that are Indian in nature, and that will do the same thing. You can salt and pepper this to taste. I'm actually not putting any salt or pepper in until, until it's finished. I'm going to give it a stir, and we're going to just let that simmer for a little while. I'll use, I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. And simmer. So here we are. This is the finished product. And what we've allowed it to do is to cool off a little bit, because I'm going to use a Nutribullet to blend it up. And we all know, sometimes if you put things that are a little too hot in a Nutribullet, it creates a vacuum seal and you just really can't get it. So, um, this is the consistency. If you can come a little closer, it just baked up to this, okay? Now, I'm going to want it to be a little bit thinner. I'm actually going to just pour a little bit of water in here, okay? Not too much. And then we're going to carry this whole thing right over here to my Nutribullet. We're going to use this great big one. You may have to do it once or twice. So remember, this is just the pulp. 
leftover, the fiber that we sometimes just throw away. And it's actually just as healthy and just as important for us to have this fiber in our bodies. This is what helps our digestion. This is part of the plant that is absolutely wonderful for us. Looks a little weird right now, but you'll see in just a few moments, it's going to come out a wonderful pureed soup. It blends all the flavors together. We're going to make a loud noise here. Now you notice I let it stay on there for about 20 to 25 seconds and it still <laughs> wants to create a vacuum. Oh, there it goes. Well, that's what happens. So, and what you end up is a beautiful puree. Um, you can put nutmeg on top of it, cinnamon, a, a dollop, well, of anything. We'll let Tom taste it first. Mm. <laughs> That's why I love doing videos with you. It's this right here. I guess it tastes everything. Mmm. One point I want to make, uh, tasting it on the stove or whatever before you puree it, it's got a different, obviously a different consistency and texture, but even the flavor is just completely yeah. different. This has actually become now a wonderful curry soup which you can use, uh, I, sometimes I like to just have soup, make some brown rice. If you're total vegan, you're not going to want to put a dollop of yogurt on it, but if you're not, it's, it's wonderful. So, um, yeah. So now you've got something else to do besides just throwing away, unless you have chickens, of course, but throwing away the fiber from your organic vegetables that you're juicing. That's why a lot of us have gone to blending as well, but there's still uh, so many health benefits to juicing. We want to keep juicing. And if you have a garden, you can use it as compost. Um, yes. Be resourceful. Waste is not cool. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. that's it. Oh, the aroma of curry is just wonderful. Well, I hope you try this sometime soon and be healthy. <laughs> Isn't she it. bright? She knows a lot of stuff and for that reason I recommend that you check out her website. It's truelife-solutions.com truelife-solutions.com Everybody yeah. likes solutions for yeah. true life stuff. Yeah. And she's also got a really amazing book. I bought a copy. It's called The Anatomy of Healing and Wellness. Yes. I recommend checking it out and getting yourself one if you, if you like what's in it. And I, too, have a website if you'd like to check me out. It is fireyourboss.xyz. Not dot com. Fireyourboss.xyz. <laughs> and if you know somebody who'd like this, somebody who juices, or just anybody, click the share button if you feel we are worthy. And it's a pretty good message to get out there, to not waste and to be more resourceful and to build up our health and do it. It's a win-win-win-win in many ways. So... Without further ado, our next video is coming very soon. soon yeah. So stay tuned. Have a great day. And stay be, healthy. And be well.